first warning to you guys this. I should have given you this warning before I even talked about it. But if you haven't watched Arrival yet, there's going to be spoilers in this video. Okay, it's very short, but it's going to be spoilers and it's going to... Um, Now, what I thought we'd do in this video is uh, do a little bit of um, mathematics of movies or mathematics in movies, I guess. Now, I just watched Arrival for the second time last night and uh, something popped out uh, that uh, is related to mathematics and it's sort of related to uh, what we did uh, for a previous video for ASMR Math where we were talking about uh, why we can't travel at the speed of light, right? Taking, taking a look at Einstein's um, Einstein's equations and realizing that mathematically anyway, the only reason that we can't really travel at the speed of light is because we get a division by zero in the equations, right? And um, arrival has a certain element in that uh, that's related to what we talked about, um, specifically, traveling at the speed of time, a uh, speed of light and time associated in there as well, right? So my first warning to you guys is, I should have given you this warning before I even talked about it, but if you haven't watched Arrival yet, there's going to be spoilers in this video, okay? It's very short, but it's going to be spoilers and it's going to, um, it's the punchline. Uh, so if you haven't seen it, you want to see it, if you like sci your sci-fi, if you like your fantasy, your this is sci-fi, right? Not fantasy. But if you like your science fiction, uh, pause this video, stop this video, go watch Arrival, and then you can come watch this video. Okay, seriously, because uh, one of the best things with science fiction and fantasy as well, but science fiction comes into play a lot, is the punchline. Okay, how the future is laid out. And that sort of works its way throughout most movies or comic books or books. And the punchline is usually delivered at the end of the, end of the story that you're watching or reading. Uh, so this one's going to have spoilers, okay? Now, in Arrival, okay, I'm assuming you've already watched it, okay? In Arrival, what we find out is um, that, uh, uh, I don't want to give away too much just in case you haven't watched it and you're watching this video, but it, it can't be helped, right? In Arrival, basically, uh, aliens arrive on Earth and they land in a few different spots and uh, different governments are trying to communicate with them and trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, There's miscommunication, right? Uh, because language is very important. Um, in, in our lives and obviously in alien lives as well, uh, as we find out in this movie, right? So language communication is very important. One of the reasons we get conflict in the world is because of miscommunication, right? Maybe between nations, maybe between tribes, maybe between individuals, right? So this sort of plays out in the movie, but at the end, um, this conflict resolves itself because we find out that the language that the aliens, what they're sharing with us is basically their language. And their language is, uh, works out in a way where it allows you to live all of your life, all of time at the same moment. So you can, you can see everything happening, right? Uh, you can experience everything happening, right? So you're basically doing time travel within your lifespan. Okay, now one thing that uh, I realized after the second watch, sort of thinking about it and stuff like this, is um, so the way I'm assuming, and I haven't read up on this, I don't know if this is based on a book or and, you know if someone else has done analysis of, of this. This is what popped into my mind when it's related to the mathematics in the movie, right? Um, at the end of the movie, towards the end of the movie, we find out that the reason that aliens have come to Earth and are communicating with us, are helping us out, is um, sharing their language, allowing us to travel in time within our lifespan. I'm assuming it's only within a certain person's lifespan, okay? 
So if you live to be 80 years old, you can travel to any moment within those 80 years, right? So the reason that they're sharing this with us is because, uh, as one of the aliens says, 3,000 years from now, they will need humanity's help, okay? And from the first watch, this didn't really click to me, but on the second watch, it sort of went, wait a second, that implies certain things, right? If the language that they're sharing allows us, an individual or a living being, right? And, uh, someone or something with consciousness to be able to travel in time within their lifespan, then us human beings, we have a certain limit lifespan, right? We talked about this in a previous video, how the perception of time changes with age, changes with how much time you've lived and how much time you still have yet to live, right? And I like that perspective using ratios and taking a look at how time changes with age. But if we, let's assume we live to be 100 years old, right? Then when the aliens say that they're going to need our help 3,000 years from now, then there's only two possibilities to this, okay? That why the aliens know that they're going to need our help in this. They either live, you know, the aliens that are talking to the humans, they either live 3,000 plus years because they've been able to travel their lifespan to be able to see that they're going to need humanity's help in 3,000 years or they're sort of leapfrogging, right? So let me give you a sort of a, I mean, this is the way I, uh, so this is, this is sort of the way I perceive this to be. Okay, let's just put this little, board up and it's it's snowing outside it's february and we're getting uh hit with serious snow so it's it's an awesome time uh actually let's do this this way let's put down this this thing So the way uh, I perceive this to be is this. If the aliens are born here, right? And they're interacting with us at a certain time span. Let's say the only possibility if they're able to know that human beings, they need human beings help in 3000 years, they either live live to be 3,000 plus years old, right? I wonder if that's showing up. Let's see if we can do it with the green. They either live to be 3,000 years old, right? Or because they're, they're interacting with us, let's say during this period or if they say they need our help 3,000 years from now, if they're born here, maybe they're interacting with us in this zone, right? right? And obviously this is not the scale, right? Maybe this is where humans live, right? And this is the alien lifespan. And they were able to travel somewhere over here and then come back or see what's happening somewhere around here and come back and get humans to understand their language so they can also evolve, right? Or we can also evolve. Or the aliens are leapfrogging each other, right? So alien lifespan may not be 3,000 years. Alien lifespan may be, you know, a certain period here, 500 years, let's say, right? In that case, they wouldn't know that they needed our help 3,000 years from now. The only way they could achieve that is if they're leapfrogging each other. Right? 
So this alien may live to be 500 years. This alien, another alien that is born halfway through this, this alien's life, lives to be 500 years, right? So there's a gap of 250 years here. And this alien is able to see what's happening here. And coming back to an earlier time and telling these people what's happening. And they continuously do this. Right? They continuously do this. For multiple generations. Until one of these generations sees, realizes that they need humanity's help, right? And they go back and they reveal that information during this time zone where, you know, other people live, other aliens live, right? And they're older and they're younger here. And these people go back and tell the generation before them and these people go back and tell the generation before them and so on and so forth until the aliens that we see in the movie that generation hits and they come to earth as soon as they find out that's why they land in multiple zones they all come to earth or they send representatives in different parts of the earth to tell humanity here that they're going to need our help three thousand years from now and i thought that was an amazing twist i thought no, I thought that was uh, that was pretty cool. Or I didn't realize I didn't have this perspective uh, on the first watch. I sort of got this perspective on the second watch, right? And it was it was really cool to me. It sort of shows um, the mathematics of it. Sort of math, the math creeping in into the movie, where if you time travel only within your lifespan, and this uh, idea has been presented in other sci-fi pieces of work other sci-fi genres maybe movies or comic books or books in the past as well i've come across it before um but i've never come across it in this perspective where another species is telling humanity that they're going to need their help three thousand years from now and we have to sort of for ourselves uh think about this and associate a lifespan to the aliens may it be 3,000 plus years because they've seen what's gonna happen and they need our help or they're leapfrogging each other 500 years at a time thousand years at a time a hundred years at a time right we don't know we don't know maybe like you know I'm not sure if the movie is based on a book or or some other type of fiction right maybe that's revealed uh, in the original piece or not okay i don't know okay but i thought this was uh, uh it'd be fun to share if you've seen the movie and if you know the history of this uh, uh where the story is from and they've already resolved this for us they've told us what this is about uh please let me know i'd like to find out uh and i will probably do a search on this later on uh just to dig down a little bit deeper into this uh, that's it for now. I thought this was uh, interesting to share and I'm sorry if I've uh, Spoiled the movie for you if you haven't seen the movie, but uh, warning was given right uh, The movie is still fantastic. It's still worth the watch even knowing this okay. uh, That's it for now. I'll see you guys in the next uh, video